so I know that you guys probably know about animation layers, but for those of you who don't know about animation layers, it's basically a workflow uh, that's non-destructive for animators. So without further ado, let's get into the business of Blender. Now, some of you might know that there's an add-on for Blender called animation layers. And I actually think this is a redundant because there is actually animation layers built into Blender. Not, not, not many people know about that. So I'm going to show it to you today. Now, first thing you do is add keyframes to uh, your square or whatever. And then after that, you go into the animation panel and then you switch the window on the left, as you see now, to non-linear non non -linear animation. And what, what that does is um, it brings you to this um, graph uh, editor with um, layers on it. And what you can do is um, go down to the bottom timeline and switch it to the action editor and then when you're in the action editor you can create a new key, uh, keyframe group and basically these keyframe groups act as the, your animation layers and you can create as many as you want um, in, this isn't, in this instance I'm only going to create two uh, and then all you need to do is push them down and after that you can go up to the uh, nonlinear animation panel and uh, press N on the keyboard to bring out the properties menu and then go to strip and then uh, change the add or the change the add uh, uh, mode to uh, combine and what that does is it combines both um, combines both layers into one so if your cube is going from uh, side to side and up and down on each layer um, it will do both at the same time and you can mess around with this however you like but uh, yeah that's just the basic gist um, if you found this video helpful uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give it a like and there's tons of videos coming out in the future so stay tuned for that see you guys seals productions out